Hi guys, today we are going to start a new method of elimination ng arbitrary constant which is by isolation of constant. This is logical uh, approach in eliminating an arbitrary constant because natutunan natin sa differential equation that a deri the derivative of a constant is equal to zero, di ba? So, it just means that kung meron tayong constant at uh, in-isolate natin siya, Katulad na nakikita natin dito, if we take the derivative of our constant, immediately nawala na kagad yung ating arbitrary constant. Okay, we already satisfy yung ating purpose to eliminate all our arbitrary constant. So, yan yung gagawin natin ngayon. So, previously, ang ginawa natin is elimination of arbitrary constant by differentiation and combination. But this time, we're going to do it by uh, isolating our constant. So, dito sa problem natin ngayon, naka-isolate na yung constant natin. No? So, what we have to do is to take the derivative of both sides. So, we're going to take the derivative of x sine y um, minus xy squared and the derivative of our constant c, which is equal to 0. No? Alam na natin yan. So, now... We're going to take first the derivative of our first term here, okay? So, unahin natin to yung derivative ng x sine y, no? So, unahin natin yan. So, we will have the derivative of x sine y. We have x times the derivative of sine y, okay? Then, plus sine y times the derivative of x, okay? And then, minus, okay, so include natin siya sa grouping symbol natin na parenthesis. And then, we're going to take the derivative of xy squared. So, we have x times the derivative of um, y squared, okay, then plus y squared, then the derivative of x. Okay, and this is equal to the derivative of our constant which is zero. Alright, so gawin na natin yung ating derivative. So, we have here x times the derivative of sine y which is cosine y times the derivative of y which is y prime then plus sine y times the derivative of x which is 1 then minus x the derivative of y squared which is 2y and uh, 2y times the derivative of y, which is y prime. Then plus y squared, the derivative of x, which is 1. So, this is equal to 0. Oh, I'm sorry. Meron tayong error dito sa ating sign. This should be negative, you know. Okay, because nasa loob siya ng grouping symbol. Okay, so we have a negative now dito sa ating term. Okay, so medyo simplify lang natin. Uh, we have x um, y prime cosine y plus sine y minus 2 x y y prime minus y squared is equal to 0. Alright, so may kita natin dito sa dalawang term natin dito, pareho tayong may y prime. So we can simplify this no by factoring out yung ating y prime now. So, we have x cosine y, okay, then minus 2xy times y prime, then plus sine y minus y squared is equal to 0. Okay, so this is our final answer. So, as you can see, na-eliminate na natin yung ating arbitrary constant. So, this is one of the method na pwede natin gamitin sa elimination of arbitrary constant. We'll just need to isolate our constant. So, we're going to show you another problem. Okay? So, let's say we have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So, katulad nung napag-aralan natin, previously, no? If we have three arbitrary constant, like this one, we have A, B, and C. So, we have three arbitrary constants. So, we are expecting to have 
a third derivative, di ba? So, we're going to take the derivative uh, three times. So, as you can see, meron na kagad tayo dito naka-isolate na constant. So, if we take the derivative, mawawala kagad yung ating constant na C. So, let's start with taking the derivative uh, of Y. So, first derivative muna tayo. So, derivative of AX squared, we have 2AX plus the derivative of BX, which is B, plus the derivative of constant C, which is 0. No? So, hindi na natin isulat yan para okay, mas malinis yung ating solution. So, gusto lang naman natin ipakita that when we take the derivative of a constant, it will be equal to 0. Right? So, now, we are going to take the second derivative. So, nakikita ninyo dito, no, naka-isolate na uli yung ating variable or ating constant na B. So, if we take the derivative again, so, mawawala na itong ating uh, arbitrary constant na B. No? So, let's take the second derivative. So, we have y2 prime is equal to 2a. Okay, the derivative of x is equal to 1. Then, plus the derivative of B, which is 0. So, I will not write that para malinis yung ating solution. Okay, so, meron tayo ngayon y2 prime is equal to 2a. So, meron pa rin tayong arbitrary constant na a, di ba? So, if we take the third derivative, sabi ko nga, we are expecting to have third derivative because we have three arbitrary constants. So, the derivative of 2a is equal to uh, 0 because these are constant. Okay? So, we are able to eliminate now our arbitrary constant which is equal to 0 yung ating third derivative. So, this is our final answer here no? sa ating second problem. Alright, so let us have another problem. Okay, so this one will be a bit longer. No? So we have y is equal to ax squared plus b e to the x. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang arbitrary constant dito. No? We have a and we have b. So we are expecting to have uh, second derivative no, sa ating solution. Alright, so, tandaan natin, ang method na ginagamit natin ngayon is isolation of constants, di ba? So, kailangan ma-isolate natin yung isa sa mga constant natin. So, uh, yung arbitrary constant natin na A and B, hindi siya naka-isolate. So, kailangan ma-isolate natin siya. So, I'm going to isolate itong ating arbitrary constant na B. Okay? And to do that, we are going to multiply both sides by e to the negative x. Okay? So, what will happen is that we have y times e to the negative x is equal to, um, we have a x squared plus b e to the x times e to the negative x. Okay? So, distribute natin yung ating e to the negative x. We have y e to the negative x is equal to a um, x squared e to the negative x plus b. Okay? Because e to the x times e to the negative x is equal to 1. Okay? So, you can imagine this, okay? Para mas maintindihan natin siya. No? You can imagine this as b e to the x over e to the x. Okay? Because e to the e negative x is equal to 1 over e to the x. So, this will be cancelled out. Kaya, ang maiwan sa atin is yung arbitrary constant na b. Okay? So, dyan natin nakuha yan kung bakit naging, uh, kung bakit na-isolate natin yung ating b. Alright? So, now we can take the derivative of both sides. So, we can take the derivative of y e to the negative x and the derivative of uh, um, a x squared e to the negative x, okay, plus the derivative of our constant p. So, alam na natin that this is equal to 0 because uh, the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Okay, so unahin natin to. Let us take the derivative of y e to the negative x, okay? So, we have y times the derivative of e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x, times the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. Okay, then plus e 
to the negative x times the derivative of y, which is y prime. And this is equal to, okay, the derivative of ax squared e to the negative x. Okay, so we have here ax squared, then the derivative of e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x, times uh, the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1. Then plus, okay, we have a e to the negative x times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, okay, times 1, okay? So this is um, this is plus zero because the derivative of b is equal to zero, no? Okay, so simplify na natin itong ating equation. So we have negative y e to the negative x plus um, y prime e to the negative x is equal to negative a x squared e to the negative x plus um, 2ax e to the negative x, okay? So, as you can see, okay, lahat ng term natin is merong e to the negative x. So, we can factor that out, no? So, we have e to the negative x times y prime minus y, okay, is equal to e to the negative x times 2 ax minus x squared or ax squared I mean so we have ax squared all right so as you can see we can cancel out itong e to the negative x okay so ano yung may iwan sa ating equation we have um, y prime minus y is equal to 2 ax minus a x squared. Okay? Okay, so parehong term natin dito is merong arbitrary constant na a. So we can factor that out, di ba? So we have y prime minus y is equal to a times 2x minus x squared. Okay? So wag natin kalilimutan our procedure or method of eliminating the arbitrary constant is by isolating our constant. No? So, we're going to isolate our a by dividing both sides by 2x minus x squared. So, we will have here a is equal to y prime minus y over 2x minus x squared. Diba? So, as you can see, uh, we can eliminate our arbitrary constant a by taking the derivative ng both sides ng ating equation. Diba? So, now we're going to take the derivative of a, then the derivative of y prime minus y over 2x minus x squared. Okay, so kunin natin yung derivative niya. So the derivative of a is equal to 0, then the derivative of y prime minus y over 2x minus x squared, kukunin natin yan. So, so dapat naalala pa natin yung ating procedure in taking the derivatives. No? So, here we will have 2x minus x squared times the derivative of y prime minus y, which is um, y2 prime minus y prime. Yan yung derivative ng ating numerator. Then minus, we will write our numerator, which is y prime minus y times the derivative of our denominator, which is 2 minus 2x. Okay? So, yun yung derivative ng 2x minus x squared. ba? Then, for our denominator, we will have um, 2x minus x squared squared. ba? Pero, we're going to um, multiply this both side by 2x minus x squared squared para mawala yung ating denominators. But, for the left side, since any number multiplied to 0 will be 0, so, that means, ang uh, may iwan sa atin is itong nasa right side. So, let me write that. Ililipat na natin yung 0 sa right side para mas madali natin siyang uh, maintindihan. So, we have, let's say, 2x minus x squared times y2 prime 
minus y prime minus y prime minus y times 2 minus 2x is equal to 0. So, yan na yung naiwan sa ating equation. Ano? So, let us simplify our equation. So, we have y2 prime times 2x minus x squared um, minus y prime times 2x minus x squared. Then, we have minus y prime times 2 minus 2x then plus y times 2 minus 2x is equal to 0. Okay? So, um, as you can see, pareho tayong may y prime dito. No? So, we can actually simplify that. We have y2 prime times 2x minus x squared minus y prime times um, 2x minus x squared plus 2 minus 2x plus y times 2 minus 2x is equal to 0. Now, nakikita natin dito, no? We have 2x minus 2x, so this will be equal to 0. So, may iwan dito is um, minus x squared plus 2. So, we can further simplify this as y2 prime times 2x minus x squared then minus y prime times um, 2 minus x squared. Okay, then plus, ito naman parehong term natin may 2. So, we can actually factor out yung 2. So, we have 2y times 1 minus x. This is equal to 0, right? So, this is our um, final answer for this problem. Okay, so as you can see guys, this is how to solve a differential equation no? by elimination of arbitrary constant by isolation of constant. So, sa second part, magsosolve pa tayo ng medyo mas mahirap pang problem ng elimination of arbitrary constant kung saan gagamitin natin is yung um, isolation of constant. So, with all of that and more, I will see you sa ating next video. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.